Hello, I'm back with some more rule changes, this time for the better. So, these rules that I'm going to go through right now are only for those that don't qualify or aren't fully vaccinated. And these rules come into play after the 11th of February. So if you're flying in any time after the 11th of February, then these rules are the rules you need to follow. If you're flying in before then, unfortunately, you will have to follow the old long rules. So like I said, just if you're flying before, then you'll have to follow the old rules. If you're flying after the 11th, then this video is for you. So as always, I will link everything I mention down below. Uh, as well as some test choices, uh, I will link prices as well and if there's any discount codes I find I will link that with the link too in the description. Feel free to comment any questions you may have and I'll do my best to get back to you uh, as best to my knowledge and as quick as I can. You can also tweet me, uh, this is my Twitter up here. Uh, I normally get back to you quicker on that so feel free to tweet me if that's easier. And now as we can see the rules constantly change so if anything does change I will try to put in the comments uh, below and in the description of any updates but I will try to make another video if there are a few big changes. I've been busy this last couple of months so I wasn't able to make videos on the changes but I'm back now uh, so like I said these are the new rules coming in on the 11th of February. So let's just get into it. So briefly, here is what you need. Uh, I will go into more detail in each step, but this is just a brief. You need this, this and this. Okay, so first you need to take a COVID test within two days before you leave uh, the country you're in. You need to complete a passenger locator form. And finally, you need to book and take a COVID-19 test on day two of arrival into the UK. So based off of the rules that are currently in place, or like the old rules, if you're watching this after the 11th of February, you no longer require a day eight test that has been scrapped. And you also do not need to quarantine for 10 days, which is great news for those that are unvaccinated. Okay, so let's just go into detail of every step. I'm going to break down everything, uh, tell you everything you need. Uh, give you suggestions for things that I found that have helped or etc etc So we will start with that pre-departure COVID-19 test So within the two days before you depart you must take a COVID test and obviously test negative This test can be either a PCR or antigen test uh, when you take this test uh, the results must contain like certain information which I'll put up here right now because you must get like a certificate from it uh, and like I said it must contain all of this information up here I will also link that below uh, all the details you need now there are some countries that do offer these tests free of charge so it is worth a look uh, for example I've just returned from Iceland and I know they offer free tests so it's definitely worth checking out. I also know that they offer free COVID tests in JFK Airport if you're in New York. Um, so it's definitely worth checking if your country offers a free test or uh, a certain place in that country you can get tests for free. But if not and like you're in a panic and you're just going for holiday, if you're going for holiday or like vacation, uh, I would recommend using a company where they send you the tests to your address in England. You then put them in your suitcase and you take them with you. Uh, and then obviously you take them within those two days of departure. Uh, there are multiple companies out there. Uh, some just want like photo proof and others you do it on like a Zoom call. Uh, so off the top of my head, one that I've used before and I've suggested in the videos is Breathe Assured. Uh, they're a relatively decent price, but I know you can get cheaper, but off the top of my head I can't think of them. So I will link those below if that is an option for you. Like I said, they're easy to do. I recommend you just bring them with you and then take them when you're out there. And then they will send you a certificate via email, which is what you need to be able to get on the plane. They are cheap. 
easy and the certificate contains all the information. Remember, you cannot take an NHS test, unfortunately, so you will have to either find somewhere or take one of these tests with you. Okay, so step number two. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the test you have to take when you're in the UK um, before the passenger locator form. And now if you've watched my other videos, then you know why. Uh, but for those that haven't, I'll get back to it in a minute. So you must book what's called a day two test uh, for your arrival when you get back to the UK or when you come into the UK. This test for unvaccinated travellers at the moment must be a PCR test. If anything changes, I will let you know. But for unvaccinated, it has always been a PCR test. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this changing as of yet, but like I said, I will update you on my Twitter or in the description below if anything changes, so keep an eye on that. I will link some providers for a cheap price down below. As always, like my other videos, I do suggest using Randox. I have never had an issue with them. You can get tests, I think, for £43, and you can just take them at home, and then you just send them back, and you get your results pretty much... Uh, by the end of the next day, so within like 24 hours and I've never had an issue with them. There are some companies out there where people have had a lot of problems so if you're going to choose a random company I would check some reviews uh, before you do that. So yeah, I will link a few options below and I'll put the prices and the discount codes uh, next to that so definitely check that out. So why do you have to do this before you fill out the passenger locator form? So you must do this first because when you book the test they're going to send you an email or some send it with the test but most will send you an email and in that email uh, it will have your booking reference. Now this booking reference you must put, uh, you must keep safe and you must put it on the passenger locator form when it asks for it. It will ask you for a booking test reference and this is your number, you just put that in and it will accept it. So a bit more about like the type of tests, you can either take an in-person test, uh, there's a drive-through test and you can take an at-home test. Now I recommend at-home tests, they are generally cheaper and they're a lot easier uh, and pretty much require less research because you don't have to worry about your location and things like that. If you are staying in like a hotel or somewhere where they won't take delivery of the test, so if you're not like a national of this country, you can take an in-person test. These are very easy, again I've taken these before, but what I would most recommend, depending on the time you arrive, Although it's called a day two test, you don't actually have to take it on day two. You can take it before or on day two. So long as you don't take it after day two, that's okay. You can take it any time before then. So when you, the day you arrive counts as day zero, by the way. But I recommend taking this test as soon as possible. So when you arrive, most airports offer day two tests in the terminal or just outside the terminal and a lot of them aren't too expensive. So if you can't take delivery of a test, uh, or this is just easier for you, I recommend that you book a test so that when you land, you take the test in the airport. But it is easy because you literally go through security, get your bags, and then go and get tested, and that's it. You're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about, uh, has the test got there? How do I take the test? Where do I send the test off to? So yeah, like I said, it's it's simple. Um, and I know, so for example, I've used Collinson before. Uh, I've used them at Stansted Airport, but they're also at Heathrow, I think Gatwick, Luton, Manchester. Uh, and there are like a load of other providers at these other airports too. So I'm sure there'll be one at the airport you're landing into, uh, but don't quote me on that. If you're hiring a car or you have a car, there are drive through centres too. Remember, you can't take an NHS test for this either. You have to book and pay for one. If none of those options work for you or you want to find a different provider, 
there is a part on the government website that looks like this which again i'll link down below uh where you fill in all like the information so i think it asks you like if you're fully vaccinated or unvaccinated so obviously unvaccinated uh and then you would put day two test and like the area you're in if that applies to you uh and then it will come up with like all the providers available in that area at home tests or in-person tests, drive-through tests and it will do them like cheapest to most expensive because for most people price is the most important factor when it comes to these uh, so that's definitely worth a look some do uh, bend the rules a little bit even though they say it might say on the gov thing like oh 14 pounds but that might be like 14 pounds to click and collect it and you have to collect it from like somewhere in wales so just make sure uh you read everything and yeah it does require a lot of research because there are a lot of companies that do that or are only for like a certain area but again i will link that down below uh enough waffling on about uh the day two test uh, any problems comment down below uh, moving on to the passenger locator form basically this is an online form that requires a lot of information about yourself and the current country you're in now apparently they are simplifying this so hopefully after the 11th uh, it will be a lot more simple they have simplified it a lot already which helps but it does ask you a couple of questions uh, a couple of times so just make sure you answer everything correctly, like truthfully. Uh, make sure you have all your documents with you. Uh, you can create an account. So if you already have an account, just put the password in. I know the password is long to remember because it wants like 14 letters, like five numbers and capital letters and like four different characters. So I, I exaggerated, but it's something like that. But make sure if you do create an account, uh, that is not the form you have just created an account you will then need to actually fill out the form i think it says like create new form you just click that and then answer all the questions you can only do this within 48 hours before your departure and they are quite strict on that so it does ask you for your departure time when you're filling the form out it's over 48 hours when you put in that departure time it will not let you continue so just make sure you fill that out within the 48 hours Again, this must be done before you check in. And then at the end, it should give you a QR code like this. This one is from my recent trip. And once you have that, that's all you need. Okay, so those are pretty much all of the steps that you need. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through what they ask for where. So once you've done all these steps and you're on the way to the airport, when you get to check in, they should ask to obviously see your passport. Uh, and then they should ask to see your negative COVID test and your passenger locator form document. Now you can print these out or you can just show them on your phone. I personally would recommend you print them out just because it's easier to give them two different documents at the same time rather than like show your phone and then get it back and then have to find the next document and then show them that. There is nothing wrong with showing it on your phone. I've shown it on my phone before. Uh, and I've also printed it out and I've just personally found printing it out a lot easier but if you can't print it then you're fine to just show it on your phone uh, now that should be the last time that you show your documents they do say have your passenger locator form ready when you arrive in the UK so just make sure you have that to hand if you get asked for it but I personally have traveled multiple times during uh, these rules uh, and I've never seen them ask anyone for it. That doesn't mean to say that they don't. Uh, but like I said, just make sure you have that to hand if they do ask. And that should be the only time that they ask to see the documents. They might ask to see them when you board the plane, but I've never had that. And then once you're all done and out the airport, just make sure you take that day two test and follow the instructions. And then you're all good. So that's basically all you need to do as an unvaccinated traveller now. It's a lot simpler, it's a lot easier and it is a lot cheaper. Again, hopefully these rules will get even better uh, sometime in the future. As always, any questions you have, feel free to comment them below or tweet me and I will do my best to answer as best and as fast as I can. 
like I said, everything is in the description, so make sure you check that and check that for any updates if you're watching this a while after the 11th of February. I will try to keep these videos going with updates. I'm also planning on making other videos for like visiting different countries like America or Iceland because again those also have a lot of complicated rules. Uh, so if there's another country that's of interest to you that you're traveling to and you're like whoa the there's so many rules I don't understand them can you make a video on this country uh, just comment that below and I will do my best to research that and either get back to you or make another video on that. So like I said, travel does seem to be getting easier, so hopefully we are on the up in terms of restrictions and requirements. Wherever you're travelling from, I hope you get here safely. Thank you for watching and happy travelling!